Good morning to you on this Friday. Today we begin uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Paul defends his apostleship. I wish that you would bear with me in a little foolishness, but indeed you are bearing with me. For I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. For I betrothed you to one husband, so that to Christ I might present you as a pure virgin. Paul is here using the illustration that runs right through the Old Testament, where God's chosen people, the children of Israel, are his bride, his wife. And every time they go after other gods, then the prophets came along and said that they were committing adultery. They were being unfaithful to God. And this carries over here in the New Testament, where the Christian church, the invisible church, all believers, form one body, the Bride of Christ. And we look forward to the wedding banquet, which will happen in heaven at the end of time. And Paul says, I'm jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I betrothed you to one husband, so that to Christ I might present you as a pure virgin. Two elements that are very important in a marriage are love and faithfulness. If that trust, that faithfulness is broken by one or other of the partners going with somebody else, committing adultery, that bond is broken. And this is what happens when people will start praying to other gods or other religions or follow false messiahs, follow false prophets and false teachings. And this is what Paul is concerned about, that he said, I'm jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I don't want you to to commit adultery, in a sense, against God by following after other gods. I want to present you as a pure and a chaste virgin to the Lord Jesus Christ. This was his desire. And that should also be our desire. And that's why we are very careful and we try to teach the truth as it is written so as not for you to not be deceived. We need to be awake as it was in Paul's time, so it is today. There's many false prophets. We'll see many false apostles, many, many uh, false religions out there that are trying to draw us away from the truth. And that's why we need to study God's word daily. And we need um, an infusion of his Holy Spirit every day to keep us on the right path, to keep us true and faithful to his word. I betrothed you to one husband so that to Christ I may present you as a pure virgin. So we keep our eyes on Jesus, we keep our eyes on his word. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the Apostle Paul. We thank you for his letters. We thank you for this word. We pray, Lord, that you help us to uh, always be able to rightly divide the truth, to discern between good and evil, between right and wrong, to know when we are being um, fed a story, to know when we are being led astray. Lord, help us. Help us to uh, rightly divide the truth, to judge properly and to understand. We need your Holy Spirit. Apart from your Spirit, we cannot do this. We thank you for your word. We thank you that we have the truth. There is only one truth, not many truths. Lord, we want to stay faithful and true to you, to be a faithful bride. We ask that you would cleanse your church. We pray that you would protect us from false prophets and, and liars and, and, and wolves in sheep's clothing. Lord, have mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would just um, be with our governments, also help them to always do the right thing, to have a, a discerning heart and an understanding heart and to be able to rightly divide the times and to understand what's going on and, and what needs to be done. We pray, Lord, for mercy. We pray for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray for your mercy in Pakistan. Closer to home, Lord, where there's heavy rains happening again, we, we pray, Lord, for uh, those who have suffered under floods. We pray for those who are being threatened right now. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for those, Lord, who have had to say goodbye to loved ones this week or maybe even have to today. We ask, Lord, that you would just grant them the peace that only you can give. We commit all to you, knowing that you love us with an everlasting love, knowing that your ways are truth. So, Father, hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.